So ear infections are of different kinds and, and, and the symptoms are usually of discharge coming out of the ear and sometimes that's a watery discharge and sometimes it's a thick discharge even with pus. There can also be some, some pain and some discomfort and of course there can be some, some hearing loss. And those infections might include what we call the outer ear. So that's a, an ear infection affecting the ear canal, the tube that goes from this part of your ear towards the eardrum, or it can be a middle ear infection. And that's a part of the ear that's deep to the eardrum uh, where the bones of hearing reside. So there are different kinds of ear discharge and sometimes it can be difficult to know exactly what's causing it until we look inside the ear. In fact, um, otology, the study of the ear, is, is one of the few branches of medicine where it's actually very difficult to know exactly what's causing it until we look inside. The ear discharge might be a watery discharge associated with itchiness. That's typically an outer ear infection, as I've mentioned, but it might be pus. It might be things coming out of the ear, and that's usually a middle ear infection, that infection deep to the eardrum. If there's a lot of pain and a temperature before that comes out, that can be uh, a, what's called uh, an acute ear infection, an ear infection that's happened just recently, um, and usually following a cold that gets inside the ear. But sometimes there's people who just have pus pouring out of their ear from time to time with very little pain, and that can be a sign that you've got a hole in your eardrum, or you've got this rare problem called a cholesteatoma, where the skin of the eardrum has started to grow inwards, as well as causing a hole. The causes of ear discharge can be varied, as I've mentioned, and, and if it's an outer ear infection, that can be because some water has got in. For example, it classically happens after swimming. It may be that you've got an underlying problem with the skin of the ear canal, such as an eczema, um, that makes you prone to this. And sometimes, to be honest, we don't find out why you've got an ear discharge from the outer ear. If it's this mid-ear infection, the infection deep to the eardrum, it may be that you happen to pick up a cold and, and, and that caused this ear infection, this intense pain usually with discharge of the eardrum bursts and the pus comes out. And some people are just prone to that. It happens a lot in children because their immune systems are a little bit weaker, but it can also happen in adults. And often we don't know why adults, some adults are particularly prone to getting ear infections more than others. But the other thing is that you can have a hole in your eardrum. And I'll be frank, most of the people I see with a hole in their eardrum, we can't understand why they developed a hole in their eardrum. Sometimes it's because you, you had a bad ear infection and the eardrum burst. Sometimes it's because you had some trauma to the eardrum and the eardrum burst. But most people just present with discharge coming out of their ear from time to time. And you find a hole in the eardrum and we're not sure why that happened. But rarely it can be due to this other problem, this skin going in, as I mentioned, something we call a cholesteatoma, which is a bit of skin growing into the eardrum and causing a hole. And it, that sounds like nothing that serious, and it is rare, but actually it's a bit more than something like belly button fluff just getting stuck with a bit of skin. It's, it's actually an active growth of a skin from the eardrum. And when that starts, it keeps on damaging, it keeps on going into the eardrum, and it'll keep on growing and growing and growing and growing and can eventually damage various other structures in the ear or even rarely go up into the brain. So I always say to, 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 to non-specialists, to GPs and, and even to patients, if you've got an ear that continues to discharge, that doesn't settle or repeatedly discharges, you really could, should go and see an expert. So. Ear infections uh, are perhaps treated slightly different to other infections. The, the main state of treatment really should be antibiotic drops. So rather than giving you antibiotics by mouth, which have to go into your body and then can get to the ear in, in lower concentrations, actually what we normally try to do is put antibiotic drops into the ear because we get a much higher concentration to get rid of any bacteria that are there. And that's the same for whether it's an outer ear infection or a middle ear infection. Uh, and usually that settles it down. But if it doesn't, you often need your ear cleaning out to get rid of any pus and debris inside there to allow the antibiotics to, 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 to work even stronger. Occasionally we get infections that just won't settle or keep coming back. And then that's exactly the reason you need to see an expert about it. Because if there's an underlying hole in the eardrum, you'll be prone to getting those infections again and again. And you'll need a repair of that eardrum, or you may want to consider a repair of that eardrum to try and stop that problem and possibly improve your hearing as well. And then if there's that rare thing called cholesteatoma, that's the one condition where you really, really should have an operation because that's not going to go away and could 
cause more serious problems going forward. And that requires usually a much bigger operation to actually open up the ear and remove all of that skin away. Overall, it's, as I've mentioned, it's quite difficult to differentiate exactly what's causing the ear infection. I think if it settles with some antibiotic drops and it doesn't come back, then that's okay. But to differentiate necessarily an outer and a mid ear infection can be difficult. And I, in fact, I teach our medical students about this. That we've really got to examine the ear. So sometimes you get some uh, inkling that you've got some itching in your ear and, and actually it's more discharge and discomfort that might tell you it's an outer infection. Sometimes you see actually frank pus coming out of your ear, in which case that tends to be more of a mid-ear infection. But to be honest, sometimes you just can't tell the difference. And, and as I say, if it just keeps on causing problems, you really should see an expert about that.